Healing Scriptures, read by Dr. W. H. Pennywit. Exodus 15:26. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and would do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and shall keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. And the number of thy days I will fulfill. Deuteronomy 7, 14, and 15. Thou shalt be blessed above all people, and there shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases upon you which you know, but he will lay them upon all them that hate you. Deuteronomy 30, 19 to 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. 1 Kings 8.56 Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised, there hath not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses his servant. Psalms 91, 9 to 10 and 14 to 16. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Psalms 103, 1-5 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 107, 17, 19 to 21. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Psalms 118.17 I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Proverbs 4.20-24 My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart, for they are life to those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. 
I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 53, 4-5 Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Jeremiah 1.12 Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Jeremiah 17.14 Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Joel 3, 10, Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Nahum 1, 9, What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Matthew 8, 2-3 And behold, there came a leper, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand, and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Matthew eight sixteen to 17 And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. Matthew fifteen thirty and 31 And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet. And he healed them, insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, and the maimed to behold, and the lame to walk, and the blind to see. And they glorified the God of Israel. Matthew 18, 18, and 19. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching any thing that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 21, 21, and 22 Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which was done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Mark 9.23 Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark 10.27 And Jesus looking upon them saith, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Mark 11.22-24 And Jesus answered, saith unto them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, Believe that she received them, and ye shall have them. Mark 16, 14 to 18. 
Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not will be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, shall they speak with new tongues, shall they take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Luke 6.19 And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. Luke 9.2 And he sent them to preach the, go the gospel of God, and to heal the sick. Luke 13.16 And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan hath bound low these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? Acts 5.16 There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every one. Acts 10.38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Romans 4.16-21 Therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him who he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, So shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to perform. Romans 8, 2, and 11. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. 2 Corinthians 4.18 While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 10.3-5 for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Galatians 3, 13 and 14 and 29. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. 
And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Ephesians 6, 10 to 17. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins grit about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Philippians 2.13 Not in your own strength, for it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire, both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisfaction and delight. Philippians 4, 6-9 Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition, definite request with thanksgiving continue to make your wants known to God and God's peace shall be yours that tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ and so fearing nothing from God and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and is honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue, and excellence. If there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your minds on them. Practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it. And the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. Second Timothy 1.7 for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hebrews 10.23 Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Hebrews 10.35-36 Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that, after ye have done the will of God, ye will receive the promise. Hebrews 11.11 11. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Hebrews 13.8 Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. James 4.7 Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 5.14-16 Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil, in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, 
and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that she may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 1 Peter 2.24 Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 1 John 3.21-22 Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence toward God, and whatsoever we ask we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John 5.14-15 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. 3 John 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Revelation 12:11 And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death